dears, welcome to this new Italian tutorial. This tutorial is uh, the last one in the uh, series of tutorials that uh, I made about the house, so about the furniture that you find in, in the rooms of the house. And so I will link the previous ones in the description below. And actually I will also um, make a new tutorial soon uh, about um, the uh, the tools that you can find in the kitchen so uh, are you calling italian uh, so a, a dish or fork or so this kind of stuff but in this tutorial uh, this one uh, i will talk about uh, the furniture that you can find in the bathroom so what you what you find in a bathroom and also before starting um, let's also say that in Italy um, it's different than in other countries because in other countries um, in, in some at least uh, what you find is a room with a shower with a sink with a washing machine and, and everything and then you have another room just for the uh, so for the toilet bowl, let's say. And in Italy, it's not like that. So in Italy, we don't have to separate rooms. In Italy, everything is in just one room. So in Italy, when you talk about a bathroom, you're talking about a room with everything. So with shower, with toilet bowl, with sink, with a washing machine. So there's everything. We don't have two separate rooms. What can happen in, uh, in, yeah, in bigger houses, uh, is that you have more bathrooms so you have a bigger one and maybe a smaller one uh, where your guests go but both of them have everything so both of them have a toilet have a sink have the shower uh, so it's not that we separate the um, the toilet from the, from the rest of the stuff and so let's start uh, with the shower, so it's one of the things that you find in the bathroom. Um, so the shower in Italian is la doccia, so it's female. And if you want to make the plural, is docce. So in, as you can see from the caption, um, the plural is without the uh, e. e, with Italian spelling, of course. Uh, so. Um, the singular is doccia, so you read also the The plural, no, it goes uh, away. Why? Because before uh, the chia part, you have a, um, a consonant. So the rule is that if before chia or gia, so for the words, then like that, if you have a consonant, then the plural is without the in. But uh, I will make another tutorial uh, about the plural, so we see the plural in more detail. Uh, now, uh, sometimes in, instead of a shower, what you have is a, is a bathtub. And a bathtub in Italian is la vasca da bagno. And uh, if you want to make the plural, is le vasche da bagno. So, Actually, the second part, da bagno, doesn't change because, um, let's say, it works as let's say, it's a, in a sort of adjective. And so it's something that you use to specify and you don't change it because it's not a proper adjective. So you don't make the plural of that. So uh, actually, bagno is, is a, a, a noun. And in this case, you use it as an adjective, but it's not adjective. So you don't make the plural of that. Uh, but you make the plural of vasca that becomes, as you can see also from the caption, with an uh, H in the plural. So vasche written with an H. Why? To say, to, to have the same sound, uh, because if you write it without the H, it becomes vasche. So that's how you will pronounce it without the H. And uh, actually, I, I made also a tutorial about uh, this kind of thing, so about um, pronunciation and some sounds in, in Italian and I, I will also link that in the description below and so that's it about the shower or the bathtub 
Now, something else that you find in a bathroom is the sink. Uh, now, uh, sink in Italian is il lavandino. So it's male and the plural has nothing in particular. So it's, it's just i lavandini. And uh, so in Italian, we make a distinction between the sink that is in the bathroom and the sink that is in the kitchen. Because as you can um, also see in the, in the video about the kitchen, uh, the sink that is in the kitchen is called lavello or also acquaio, but acquaio is not so much used. So as another name, anyways. Um, the sink in the bathroom is called lavandino. Uh, now, the tap has, of course, the same name, so is il rubinetto, and is male, and if you want to make the plural, is i rubinetti. So, for, for the tap, there's no distinction if it's in the sink in the bathroom or in the sink in the kitchen, so for that, no, there's no uh, distinction. Uh, now, um, of course, what usually you have also hanging on the wall over the sink is a uh, mirror. A mirror in Italian is lo specchio. And if you want to make the plural, so is male, and if you want to make the plural is gli specchi. So as you see, specchio is just with one e. E, of course, uh, using Italian spelling. Uh, why? Because the rule is that uh, when a word ends in io, uh, if the E has a stress, then the plural is with two E. If the E doesn't have the stress, then the plural is just one E. So in this second case, is the case with specchio. Uh, because on specchio, the, the stress is not on the E. Uh, so the plural is just with one E, specchi. As you can see also from the caption. Uh, now, um, something else that you have usually in a bathroom, at least what in Italy you, you, you can find also in a bathroom, is uh, the washing machine. Uh, the washing machine in Italian is la lavatrice. So it's female, and if you want to make the plural, is le lavatrici. So about this, there's uh, nothing in particular. Um, now, um, one last thing that of course you find in a bathroom, and as I say, at least usually in Italy, and you don't, you don't have it in a separate room, is the, the toilet bowl. And um, in Italian is il gabinetto. So that's uh, how you call it. And of course the plural, if you want to make it, uh, has nothing in particular, becomes just i gabinetti if you want to, to use it. Um, so, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumb up and please subscribe to my channel uh, if you like my videos. Of course, feel free to post any comment or any question that you have or to request any topic you're interested in. Thanks for watching and see you next tutorial. Ciao, ciao!